Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily, April 11. My name is Dennis. I am an alcoholic. I am still Danish. I am still from Copenhagen. Thought of the day, progress. We claim spiritual progress rather than spiritual perfection. Our description of the alcoholic, the chapter to the agnostic, and our personal adventures before and after make clear three pertinent ideas. A, that we were alcoholic and could not manage our own lives. B, that probably no human power could have relieved our alcoholism. And C, that God could and would if he was so. That is from Alcoholics Anonymous, page 60. Thought to consider. If recovery from alcoholism begins with one sober hour. Acronyms. Big book. Believing in God beats our old knowledge. Some people really have fun with this. Just for today. Surrender from God is good. Before AA, I could not or would not admit I was wrong. My pride would not let me. And yet I was ashamed of me. Caught in this conflict, I banished God from my life because I felt he asked me to adhere to a behavior pattern to hide for a man of my human frailty. Somehow I believed that there could be no forgiveness of any failure, that God required me to be good or be all good. The moral of the story of the prodigal son eluded me. Since I thought trying was not enough, I stopped trying. That made me feel guilty. For a while, alcohol blotted out the guilt. Then alcohol became the greatest cause of my guilt. I had to be beaten to a pulp physically, mentally, and emotionally, became bankrupt in all facilities of my being before I could give up my pride and admit defeat. Unfortunately, admitting was not sufficient. My situation got worse until I had to surrender completely. From the depth of my hell, I called out, Oh God, help! And he led me to a place where I could find a way out of the maze and then sent me a group of people to lead the way. Came to believe, page 86. Daily Reflections. A word to drop. Blame. To see how erratic emotions victimized us often took a long time. We could perceive them quickly in others, but only slowly in ourselves. First of all, we had to admit that we had many of these defects, even through such disclosures or painful and humiliating. Where other people were concerned, we had to drop the word blame from our speech and thought. That is from the 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 47. When I did my full step following the big book guidelines, I noticed that my grudge list was filled with my prejudice and my blaming others for my not being able to succeed and to live up to my potential. I also discovered I felt different because I was black. As I con- as I continued to work on this step, I learned as I continued to work on the steps, I learned that as I always had drunk to rid myself of those feelings, it was only when I sobered up and worked on my inventory that I could no longer blame anyone. Now, from as Bill sees, the spiritual angel. How often do we sit in AA meetings and hear the speaker declare, but haven't yet got to the spiritual angle? Prior to this statement, He has only described a miracle of transformation which has occurred in him. Not only his release from alcohol, but a complete complete change in his whole attitude towards life and the living of it. It is apparent to everyone else present that he has received a great gift, and that is this gift is all of our proportion to anything that may be expected from simple AA participation. So... We in the audience smile and say to ourselves, well, that guy is just reeking with the spiritual angle. 
except he doesn't seem to know it yet. That's from The Grapevine, July 1962. Big book quote. Once more, the alcoholic at a certain times has no effective mental defense against the first drink, except in a few rare cases. Neither he nor any other human being can provide such a defense. His defense must come from a higher power. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition. More about alcoholism on page 43. 24 hours a day, a thought for the day. In that alcoholic world, one drink always leads to another, and you can't stop till you're paralyzed. And the next morning, it begins all over again. You eventually land in a hospital or jail. You lose your job. Your home is broken up. You're always in a mess. You're on the merry-go-round, and you can't get off. You're in a squirrel cage, and you can't get out. Am I convinced that the alcoholic world is not a place for me to live in? Meditation of the day. I must learn to accept self-discipline. I must try never to yield one point that I have already won. I must not let myself go in resentments, hates, fear, pride, lust, or gossip. Even in the discipline keeps me separated from some people who are without discipline. Nevertheless, I will carry on. I may have different ways and a different standard of living than others. I may be actuated by different motives than some people. But I will live the way I believe God wants me to live, no matter what others say. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may be an example for others of a better way of living. I pray that I may carry on in spite of hindrances. That is Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. My name is Dennis, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to daily aaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.